Congratulations on your purchase of a new Stamp Cycle R1 e-bike. Today we're going to walk you through the assembly and setup of a new Snap Cycle R1 step by step. To get started, you'll need a pair of scissors or a knife. First of all, cut the external packaging straps and carefully open the box. Inside the box, you will find the front wheel, rear rack, saddle with seat post, charger, pedals, and a toolkit bag. Inside the toolkit bag, you will also find the quick release skewer for the front wheel and a class 3 sticker. SnapCycle e-bikes are class 2 by default. You can configure it to a class 3 and use this sticker provided. Remove the e-bike from the box and place it on a stable surface. You'll find the battery key attached to the front cables. Keep it at a safe place. Remove the packaging materials by cutting the zip ties and removing the packaging foam. Then we need to install the handlebar. First, use a hex key to open the stem cap and remove the white plastic spacer on the headset. Lift up the handlebar. Place the stem into the headset. Then secure the stem cap again with your hex key. Next, install the front wheel. Remove the plastic axle guard from the front wheel. Take out the quick release skewer from the toolkit bag. Install the quick release skewer starting from the brake rotor side of the wheel. You'll need to keep the two cone springs pointed towards the center of the wheel hub. Lift up the frame and carefully lower the fork onto the wheel. Ensure the brake rotor goes into the caliper in between the brake pads. Hand tighten the thumb nuts. Then use the palm of your hand to close the skewer lever without touching the brake rotor. Check and ensure the front wheel spins freely. Prop the bike on the kickstand. Then you need to install the front fender and light. First remove this hex bolt. Set the front fender and light in place. But don't tighten the bolt or nut just yet. Remove the hex bolts on both ends of your front fork. Take the fender stay rods. Secure them to each side of the fork by tightening the hex bolts. Adjust the space between the fender and the front wheel. Slightly tighten the top bolt. Adjust the position of the front light, then further tighten the top bolt. Ensure enough clearance between the fender and the wheel. Next, straighten the handlebar. Then tighten both stem bolts with a hex key to secure the position of the handlebar. Check and ensure you can freely turn the handlebar. To adjust the angle of your handlebar, loosen these four bolts to adjust it to your desired angle. Adjust the display to the desired angle and tighten the securing bolts. Plug in all the cable connectors following their color codes. Pedals are labeled with L and R letters. L stands for left, R stands for right. The right pedal goes to the right side of the rider and the left pedal goes to the left side. Use the 15 millimeter wrench in the toolkit bag to tighten the pedals. Next, we move on to install the rear rack. First, you'll need to remove these three bolts and also remove the two bolts at each side of the rear wheel above the rear fender stay rods. Place the rear rack in position. Install the three top bolts to secure both the rear rack and the fender. Do not tighten them yet. Install the side bolts for the rear rack on each side and tighten them. Adjust the space between the rear fender and the wheel. Tighten the top bolts. Open the seat clamp Insert the seat post into the tube. Please take note of the minimum insertion mark on the seat. Adjust the seat to the desired height and close the clamp. If you can move up and down or twist the seat, open the clamp. Hand tighten the thumb nut, then close the clamp. 
If the seat is able to move, tighten the fixing bolts underneath the seat. You can also adjust the seat forward or backward. Then tighten the fixing bolts underneath the seat. Use a hand pump with pressure gauge to inflate your tire to 30 PSI. Pull away the plastic battery isolation strip. Turn on and off the rear light by toggling the button on the light. The rear light has three modes. Flashing. Constantly on. Off. The charging port is located at the side of the down tube. To charge the battery, plug the charging cord into the battery charging port. Green LED on the charger means it is not charging or fully charged. Red LED means charging is in progress. To take out the battery, switch the battery key to unlocked position. Turn the switch on the battery to detach it from the frame. You can charge it separately. To install the battery back onto the bike, insert it into the battery holder. Push inward until it clicks in place. Switch the key into the locked position. To turn on the power, press and hold the power button. Long press the plus button to turn on and off the headlight. The front suspension can be locked. Turn this switch to lock and unlock the front suspension. Twist the throttle to activate the rear hub motor. Snap Cycle e-bikes are factory set to class 2. It can be configured to class 3 by the user.